Hey guys, what's going on? Zeneca here again with a patch review of the January patches about to come out in the next couple hours. Uh, some pretty big things with balance changes, but also some hitboxes and hit detection. So we'll just go over the the uh, the information about that. So pretty much go over the most important one, which I just keep looking at is new capsule-based hit skeletons. So they've actually changed it. So instead of the hitbox the hitbox being exactly where the, the the model is, it's now just like a box around that character. And it would fix certain issues where like you'd shoot a rocket between somebody's legs and it would just would do nothing because there's no actually like hitbox there. Whereas now that's completely changed. So if you like rail somebody from far away and it just happens to go through their legs, that now does damage, which is awesome. Um, they've also changed weapon hits are now detected client side and validated server side. Now this is already a thing because LG and Railgun were already client side up to 200 250 ping. Um, and then so like you would shoot and then later the and then if you had you know 200 ms it would then 200 ms later tell you that you actually hit the shot but i'm wondering if now this actually changes the way that rockets work too so if you hit somebody with a rocket and on your side you definitely did hit them but the server actually says that person is in a different location at that time so now if it's client side including that weapon it could also mean that people start teleporting back because on your side, you shot the rocket. Therefore, they need the the bounce that correlates with that bounce uh, with that rocket now is some, somewhere else. So they could get teleported back, or maybe it's still rockets don't work that way. But um, I think they may have fixed the you know the no hit dam uh, zero damage rockets when it explodes in their face kind of thing. Um, move champion ability hit detection to the new capsule skeletons. So I guess yeah, weapons are working with the hitboxes, but maybe not necessarily the champion ability, so for example Ranger's uh, die roll, if you shoot through the legs, not going to do anything, but if you actually, uh, but in the next patch hopefully, by the sounds of this line, sounds like that it'll actually still do 100 damage, even if you do it through the bottom there as well. Um, premium weapon shaders, private web uh, messaging added, just some small things. Uh, so now we'll just go straight into the champion balance. Uh, Anarchy, instead of 100 starting health, he now has 75, and max armor to 50. Uh, I really like this change, actually, because I think you could honestly play Anarchy in every map, but whereas now it feels like you can't necessarily do that as much. You know, for, take, for example, on Corrupted, he can be still really strong because there's so many opportunities for that, but, um, you know, on a map like Blood Run, where, you know, if you get caught out of control, and you, you can't necessarily get your ability back, you can actually get yourself into a lot of trouble, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, but they have made some interesting additions too, so his cooldown is now to 60 seconds, I don't necessarily agree with that if you uh, nerf him this hard. Um, but we'll see how that turns out, maybe on like the larger maps. Duration now to 10 seconds, but the interesting one is health bonus now 1 to 3 health. So again, if you inject twice, you're at 81 HP, you can survive that like extra rail. Um, during that second second inject, excuse me, um, but again, this is where it's like he's now viable on some maps instead of all the maps. I would feel uh, max speed five sixty to six hundred. I like this change because again, he was a little bit like when you just even were running around the map, it just felt like you were a little bit too slow. Uh, air control acceleration reduced. So let's say if you're like turning around corner, you would actually just gain speed. So now you don't gain as much speed. Uh, enabled crouch lead grabbing, so when you go up a bounce pad, if you held down crouch and you were touching the wall, you would just like fly over, which is uh, really nice. Whereas I think you had a little bit of trouble with Anarchy previously. Uh, remove forward acceleration, remove bunny hop acceleration. So if you just like hold down W, it sounds like you just don't get any other more speed. So if you just like strafe jump, and then just hold down W, I think you actually gained a bit of speed, but there's no more of that. So I think the only way you can actually gain speed by the sounds is with air control when you actually go around corners. Um, yeah, by the acceleration word, really key there. Uh, BJ Blasquix, can't even pronounce that, uh, max armor 75 to 100, uh, increased, weight, uh, increased weapon rate of fire. So I really like this change as well, but we'll have to see what weapons are actually changed. I really hope they bring like the the two times LG back because that was one of the things that really made BJ so good. Uh, cooldown now 48 to 45, duration 5 to 7 seconds. I really like that too because you would too many times you'd force out the ability of BJ and then five seconds later you'd fight him and he was just like the shittest character because he had there's nothing else really going for that character even if you have the 25 health regen and stuff like that. Uh, clutch. 
uh, mining drill damage now 5 to 7 with the, the big laser. And the radius is 0 0.1. I like that change. If you're going to increase the damage, you may as well just like increase, I mean, decrease how big the actual uh, the laser is in a way. So that, you know, if you have an infinitely ranged lightning gun, that's going to be pretty fucking intense. Uh, Doom Slayer targeting range 1.5. I definitely agree with that because it was too slow. Now, this is really interesting because I saw Galena cooldown now 30 seconds to 25 and damage 75 to 100. So, I mean, with that five seconds, like at least there might be particular timings. Like if you get the cooldown reduction, if you use the totem immediately, get even even like one or two cooldown reductions and like do a bit of self damage to pick up health, you have that totem back really fucking quickly, and that can be um, that can give her a little bit more momentum in game. So I really like that change too, and her base speed was increased because she was ridiculously slow. Uh, Keel self knockback one to one point five. So I. Not too sure about this one. I feel like he actually used to be able to um, not get bounced back by his grenades, or maybe not that much. And now he's a bit more of a a, a uh, explosion to his own grenades. He has to be a little bit more careful. Uh, I really like this change to Nyx. Air acceleration 1.2 decreased to one. So basically, like you know, you let's say if you wall jumps, you'd be able to still control where your character was a little bit easier. Whereas now the the reduced air acceleration means that like if you do wall jump you're more of a uh, falling target, really more a, a lot easier to hit. Whereas she was just fucking crazy before, like you could just, just keep wall jumping all over the place, just keep running and just be able to control yourself too well in the air. Uh, bunny hop added, I don't know how I feel about this, she was fucking really quick and now she's gonna be even faster as well, but maybe again with the, uh, the hitbox update it could just mean that she's really easy to hit anyway, so they just wanted to add that. Um, Ranger die orb explosion radius three to three point five. Again, this means that you know you're able to get the hundred damage off a little bit easier. Uh, I think there already was damage fall off, so they still added that that text. But um, I like this change too because again, you didn't have to just like throw it at somebody and be really accurate with it. You can be a little bit more uh, loose with it, and you still do well. Now I actually had to edit this part to rethink about what this actually means for Scaleware in this sense, but essentially they've decreased the amount of speed you need to be able to do to hit certain damage, uh, to hit certain damages on characters. So I think previously it was actually 50 damage or so, even if you were just like holding W on somebody and you hit like five, uh, 500 to 520 speed. Whereas now they've actually reduced uh, reduced the, the the cap for that. So if you're just like running into somebody and just holding W and you're at 520 speed, you'll actually do the 100 ops damage. Now this is a bit interesting as well because if you have like uh, guns that have the weapon pushback, then it means that you know if you're running at somebody, you actually have to like run at them, take a bit of damage, and you activate the bull rush. And maybe it has a bit more of a a bit more of a punch. Whereas before it was like you'd bull rush somebody and you'd do like 75 damage or uh, it would just do like not very much so now we have a bit more of a uh, a useful character I mean it means like in situations where we you know we actually do use the ability you don't just have this you know if you just uh, instantly activate it and they're directly in front of you it doesn't just do like 50 damage it might do you know you might hit the the cap and hit do the hundred because it's a bit easier to get to and that would just mean that it leads that his momentum in the game just has a bit more of a bit more of a flair, whereas it was like if you used it and you messed it up, you were really in trouble. You know, you would lose uh, a bit of speed in that. Uh, slash movement, air acceleration again, 1.1 reduced to 1. I like that because again, these fast characters need to be uh, reduced a bit. And forward acceleration, 0 0.7 to 0 0.5. So again, this could be like just holding down W. It kind of like forces you to crouch slide a bit more to get that speed rather than just like holding W. Uh, so like acid spit, 25 damage to now 30. I like that. Again, kind of just gives Swalag a bit more of a um, a punch to his character. Spit spit knockbacks zero to five. So again, if you actually hit someone, you can maybe like control over items a bit better. And acid pool damage over time seven to ten. Oh boy, <laughs> this makes me think that he's gonna be crazy again because uh, even though the like the hitboxes help the larger champions, and this means that Swalag is gonna be even crazier. And now that you can I just I can just spit on somebody. Especially on a character like Anarchy, we're gonna have a much easier time to be able to deal with that. So, you could maybe actually see Swalag like in every game again. Uh, Visor, 43 seconds to 40 with his uh, ability duration, five to seven seconds. I would like to see his uh, the ability to actually see the item timer through walls. 
maybe some addition to that to make Visor's a bit more of like a, a spicy character, but he's just not, for me, he's just not uh, just quite there yet, but he's still usable. Um, and I think besides that, that's pretty much it, just besides some small things that they've actually just changed, but um, this update looks really good. The hitboxes were a really big thing because the small, like, it was just all, the characters were, the game was heavily dictated by the small characters and the fact that, like, they were really difficult to hit and they had so much utility going for them. Um, I don't necessarily think that, I mean, I like the Anarchy nerf, I definitely think that Nyx needs to be nerfed in some way as well, maybe, I mean, it's hard to say if, like, if, you know, being able to still shoot, you know, a Nyx when she's in Viz, but you don't know where she is, maybe it's a good balance, but at the moment she's just a little bit too fucking spicy in my opinion. Um, and again, we could have actually eventually just start seeing shit like uh, Clutch, Nyx, who else? Um, yeah, Clutch and Nyx pretty much every game, possibly even Soul Act 2, but we'll see what happens. I think there's good counters to that because of like, you know, again, they're a little bit easier, but we'll see how it plays out. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already checked out Quake Champions, check it out. This this patch looks like it's pretty good. Um, but again, there should be more champions coming out this year and just some more good... Hopefully some tournaments. I feel like after this patch, they might actually announce some tournaments, so it could be good too. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.